Hi guys, uh, this is Clive B, your calculator technique tutor. So sorry for my voice. Um, so right now I'm gonna teach you on how to solve depreciation problems using SOID method or sum of the years digit. So this is actually a shortcut on how to look for the book value and the depreciation in each year so right now i'm using a 911 sorry fx 911 sorry fx 991 es plus uh, calculator to solve now i have here uh five example no one two three yeah, five examples um, regarding with depreciation or SOID or some of the years. Now I'm going to teach you on how to solve. All right, so let's start. So the first <clears throat> question is, an asset is purchased for 9000 Its estimated life is 10 years after which it will be sold for 1000 find the value or book, book value during the third year if some of the year's digit depreciation is used now in order for us to solve for the book value in the third year so what you need to do uh, in your calculator you need to set it up uh, to start so mode and then here three and then three so the x value here will be the number of years and then your y here will be the number or the the cost and then the salvage value so the first thing that we need to identify is the given so when you say purchase that's the amount that was sold uh that's gonna be for nine thousand but it was sold at year zero so you need to put here zero and then this hit equal and then second that's gonna be <clears throat> your n or the number of years so or the estimated life is 10 years so you need to put here 10 now you need to add another year which is year 11 okay okay in your year zero that's the time that you purchase uh an asset so that's gonna be for nine thousand so you just need to put in in your y axis the nine thousand the y value now in the tenth year it says here that which will be sold so this is your salvage value one thousand so we need to put one thousand in your tenth year and also you need to put one thousand in the eleventh year so after that just press AC and then it's looking for the book value in the third year so you need to put here 3 which stands for the third year and then shift 1 and then 5 and then here 6 and then hit equals so the book value of uh, during the third year is going to be 5,072 pesos which is sorry which is letter C so that's the correct answer so here I, I have here uh, another question which is for the depreciation but let's not go into that uh, let's just focus first with book value so here it's still the same uh, although it's asking for the first year so uh, they have just the same value with the 
first example, only the year is different. So since we already have all the information, so I'm just gonna the, go back to AC or off, and then just put here share, uh, first or the number one, which stands for the first year. Then shift one, five, six again. So this is the book value in the first year. So 7,545. So again, the answer is letter C. And okay. Let's go to another example. Here, this one. So a large profitable corporation has purchased a jet plane for use by its executives. The cost of the plane is 76 million. It has a useful life of five years. The estimated resale value at the end of five years is 6 million. Using the sum of the years digit method, what is the book value of the jet plane at the end of three years? Okay, so the question is, uh, it's asking for the book value at the end of three years. Now again, we need to identify uh, the cost of the item or the plane. So it's going to be 76 million. Then we need to identify our N, which is the stands for the number of years. So here, five years. And then our salvage value or resale value, which is um, 6 million. So, what we are going to do here, just disregard this five years because I just, I think I mistakenly included it while typing the problem. Let's disregard it. So, it should be its ratio value is 6 million. Like this. Sorry. 6 million. All right. So, again, um, mode. 3, 3. And then here in your X, you need to put the value, I mean the, the years. So again, we need to put, put the year 0, which is the year where you, the jet plane was purchased. And then 5 years. So we need to put 5 years. That's our N. And then again, we need to add another year, which is the 6th year. So in your Y, you need to put here the price in year zero, which is 76 million. So 76 million. All right, so that's 76 million. Put it there. And then what's the salvage value? Salvage value is 6 million after five years. So 6 million. Yep, that's 6 million. And then here you need to add again six million. All right. So we just need to hit AC again, and then three, which is we are looking for the book value at the end of three years, right? So put here a three, then still the same. Shift one five six equals. So how much is this? This is gonna be twenty million. So the answer again is letter C. So just follow the same process, guys, when you when looking for the book value using the sum of the years digit method. Okay, now we go to the <clears throat> most, uh, I'm not saying most tricky, but it's actually a tricky part. So here, this is example number two. A company purchases an asset of 10000 and plans to keep it for 20 years. If the salvage value is zero at the end of 20 year, what is the depreciation in the third year using the sum of the years digit method? So now it's not the book value. It's looking for the depreciation at, in the third year. So <clears throat> what we're going to do is still the same. Um, would 3, 3. Here, uh, you need to put the 1, I mean the 0, 
where you purchase the item. So we need to put the zero. And what's next is the N, which is stands for our uh, years. So that's going to be two zero. And then again, we need to add another year, just the 21st or 21 year. And then in your year zero, that's where you put the, the cost of the item. So that's 10,000. Um, okay, you put 10,000. Now, it shows here that the salvage value or the resale value is zero. So you just need to put the <coughs> zero. You just need to put zero in the salvage value. Whatever the value is, uh, just put it there. So zero, sorry, zero, hit equals, and then zero, equals again. Then uh, just press AC. And then here, since it's looking for the third year, so we need to put three. And then shift one, five, six. Minus, you just need to minus uh, two years. So you just need to minus two years. So that's going to be two, shift one, five, six. Then hit equals. All right. So the depreciation uh, in the third year is going to be $857. Sorry, not dollars, but pesos, 0.1428. So here, that's going to be letter B. Now we go to our last problem. So that's going to be um, let me check. Okay. Fox System International is considering buying equipment for 50000 This equipment will have a salvage value of 8000 after a useful life of 14 years, using the sum of the years digit method, compute the depreciation charge of the equipment for the year for the third year of its useful life. Okay, so here um, we have the 8,000 pesos as the salvage value, and then 50,000 pesos as the cost. So uh, still the same. Just go to uh, mod 3.3, three. then type here year 0, and then here in the second, uh, just put here the number of years, which is four, the 14 years, and then just add 1, add 1 year, so that's going to be the 15th year. Let's go back to, <clears throat> in year 0, uh, that's going to be the year where you bought the item. So that's going to be for 50,000. Then in year 14, salvage value is 8,000. And then in the year 15, still the same, salvage value is 8,000. Right? Just press AC. And then. Um, this is for third year, right? sorry. Uh, third year, so that's going to be 3, shift 1, 5, 6, then minus the minus 2 years. So 2, I mean minus year second rather. Shift 1, 5, 6. So that's going to be 4,800. So that's the depreciation um, in the third year if it's useful life so that's it guys that's how you check for the depreciation uh, and then book value using the sum of the years digit just follow exactly what I shown uh, in the calculator
I mean, what I showed in the calculator. And I'll be making more videos uh, for depreciation, uh, double declining balance method, declining uh, balance method, straight line uh, method. So please don't forget to subscribe to get more videos weekly. Thank you and bye-bye.